Just a quick message before this video starts, we are hosting a giveaway in celebration of the launch of our new website, Fact5.net. If you want to enter for a chance to win one of 10 Amazon gift card vouchers, then click the first link in the video description. Good luck. for the automobile company Chrysler made a rather costly mistake after he released a tweet poking fun at Detroit drivers on Chrysler's official Twitter account. But Detroit is known as the Motor City, and while stuck in traffic on Interstate 696 in Detroit, the Chrysler employee tweeted out, I find it ironic that Detroit is known as the hashtag Motor City, and yet no one here knows how to f drive. Unbeknownst to him, the Chrysler contractor tweeted this on Chrysler's official Twitter account as opposed to his own personal account, but the damage was already done. He was fired as a result, and Chrysler later apologized, saying, Chrysler Group and its brands do not tolerate inappropriate language or behavior and apologise to anyone who may have been offended by this communication. A firefighter from Toronto by the name of Matt Bowman got into a bit of heat after he made a series of misogynistic remarks on his Twitter account. The first tweet being, reject a woman and she will never let it go, one of the many defects of their kind. Also, weak arms. The second tweet wasn't any better, as he tweeted out, I'd never let a woman kick my ass. If she tried something, I'd be like, hey, you, get your bitch ass back in the kitchen and make me some pie. Needless to say, instead of dealing with a fire, the firefighter dealt with a firing for his sexist and derogatory comments. Ooh, burn. A 22-year-old woman from Michigan by the name of Alicia Ann Lynch became subject of a widespread backlash after she tweeted a photo of herself dressed up as a Boston Marathon bombing victim, with the following caption, and the most offensive costume at work goes to... hashtag too soon? The 22-year-old woman can be seen in the picture smiling, wearing a blue marathon shirt with a number 739 along with fake blood and wounds on her head and the rest of her body. Many were outraged to say the least by this insensitive tweet as the Boston Marathon bombing saw three civilians killed and around 264 injured. Lynch received numerous death threats and even threats of rape. Things took a turn for the worse when her personal details were leaked online including her home address and even her parents' phone number. Lynch deleted all of her social media accounts, however later reopened them in order to apologise. Unsurprisingly, she was fired from her job, which she revealed in a tweet saying, I have been fired from my job. I am paying for what I thought was a simple joke. I know it was wrong now. I wasn't thinking. A 23-year-old high school maths teacher, you'll get that joke very shortly, from Colorado by the name of Carly McKinney was fired from her job after she released a series of tweets boasting about smoking the devil's lettuce, or marijuana as it's commonly known, as well as possessing it on school property. She posted these tweets under the name Crunk Bear. Crunk meaning to get crazy and drunk. One of the tweets read, naked, wet, stoned, whilst another read, watching a drug bust go down in the parking lot. It's funny, because I have weed in my car in the staff parking lot. Not only this, but several images of her smoking marijuana were posted on the Twitter account, in addition to numerous revealing photos. Shortly after these tweets were discovered, the 23 year old maths teacher was fired from her job. I guess she can add up where she went wrong there. Justine Sacco, a PR consultant for Interactive Corp, was at the centre of a Twitter storm when she tweeted out a single racist remark that she deemed was funny. Shortly before boarding a flight to Cape Town, South Africa, Sacco tweeted out the following, Going to Africa, hope I don't get AIDS. Just kidding, I'm white. Thousands online were furious over the tweet and hashtag has Justin landed yet started trending worldwide. Sacco soon deleted the tweet as well as all of her social media accounts, however the damage was irreparable. Although Sacco issued an apology for her distasteful comment, that did not stop her getting fired from her job. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed and would like to see maybe five Facebook posts that got people fired, then please be sure to hit that like button and share this video, or if you have another suggestion, please leave it in the comment section below, or tweet them to us at officialfact5. We will pin up the best comments, so get commenting. If you are new, please do subscribe, and if you haven't already, please do turn on notifications so you never miss another video from us. Thanks, and until the next video.